Hi, this message is for Lauren Tenney from Adelph Leto. I'm the public affairs officer at Kings County Hospital Center, and I received a message from Anna Marengo that you had called um, with a complaint. So I wanted to just uh, speak to you about what uh, the complaint involved and, um, you know, to see, uh, you know, if there's any way I can be of assistance. So you can call me tomorrow, Thursday, at 718-245-3910, 718-245-3910, Adele Flatto, the public affairs um, officer at Kings County Hospital Center. Thank you. Bye. Uh, I'm a survivor of psychiatry, and uh, I'm one of the coordinators of We the People in remembrance of Esmond Green, who was murdered at Kings County. And um, we were just sitting there quietly when a police officer came in and told us that we had to come with her, uh, and at which point we were told we weren't allowed to have the flyers that we had announcing the vigil that we're doing on June 19th in memory of Esmond Green. And the police eventually removed us from the building. One of your top staff people, I don't know who she is because she would not tell us her name. She flashed her badge at us, but she wouldn't tell it when she walked us down to the end of the uh, place and she took us past the gate, she took her badge off and she told us that she was speaking to us in an unofficial capacity and that the unofficial stance of uh, the facility was that you have moved on from Esmond Green's death and that we should move on too and uh, we will not move on and uh, I'm horrified that this is the response. I'm horrified that we were sitting in a conference quietly and, and told that we had to leave um, and, and we want a public apology and uh, we want training for your facility staff to understand what it is that our issues are. Um, we, we, we the people had decided that we were not going to protest the conference that you were coordinating yesterday because many of our peers were speaking at it and out of respect for them we did not want to but what I heard in the brief amount of time that I was allowed to sit there is absolutely horrifying has nothing to do with recovery and I think that the facility may actually be in worse condition now than it was when you killed Desmond Green three years ago no, we were not distributing information, but even if we were, that is what we do with our peers. We share information with each other. But we weren't sharing information. We were sitting at a table quietly in a conference where other people were sitting at tables quietly trying to listen to what the people at the front of the room were saying, and the police came in and told us we had to leave. It was to remove and... and, and Believe me, had anybody other than Jonathan Edwards been running that conference, I would have been arrested. And there, there is a real issue that you people have in this facility. And the fact that they're at a, at a, at a, at a conference that is focused on peer perspective, that there was nothing about alternatives, nothing about mutual support, nothing about uh, no, sub no survivors of psychiatry speaking, nothing talking about the dangers of medication. And we want to make sure that anybody who is at Kings County Hospital in behavioral health or who works there or who is locked up in um, any one of your facilities who wants to attend the vigil in memory of Esmond Green is allowed to attend the vigil in memory of Esmond Green, including all of the peers who work there who aren't even allowed to talk about it with us because there's such strict control of, of what's happening there. I, I don't know if you understand the weight of, of what that means from a larger perspective or what your involvement with, um, you know, this side of the, the work of the peer, peer organizations, and the, but the integrity of peer support is compromised and it, it is not an, an uh, it is not. It is not okay, and we, we want. We we're demanding changes, and and the the first thing that is on our list for the vigil, just so you know, of, that we want to see is memorandums of understanding with independent external advocacy for people who are um, in Kings County. And, you know, for a facility that supposedly took responsibility for murdering this woman. It, 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 
to, to, to degrade her name in such a way that you can't even pass out a flyer about a vigil in her memory. Nothing has changed at this place. And, and I'm telling you, if anything, it has gotten worse. First voice message. Hello, um, Miss Penny, this is Adele Flatow from Kings County Hospital. You and I spoke yesterday regarding the um, incident that you alleged happened on um, the 25th, May 25th at Kings County. Um, I did speak to my colleagues and they have informed me that um, they did not throw you out, they just asked you not to distribute the material and um, uh, according to them, you basically indicated, um, you know, that you uh, wanted to get arrested or, you know, sort of, I guess, challenged um, the hospital police to arrest you or whatever. But um, so I gather that, you know, we were just trying to let you know that um, no one, not, you know, not even our own staff um, have permission to just distribute materials that are not authorized by the hospital for distribution. So that's just the basic rule that we have to follow, and um, there was no intent or no reason for you to have left uh, the conference itself. Anyway, if you want to uh, further discuss this, you can call me on Tuesday. Our office is closed Monday, um, 718-245-3910. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. End of message. So that's it. Kings County doesn't allow unauthorized materials to be distributed to people at the facility. And that to us is evidence that there is not only uh, no support for in independent external advocacy, but there is a rule to keep independent external advocacy from occurring at Kings County. Uh, I hope you will all come out and support uh, our demands for respect and independent external advocacy at Kings County Hospital on uh, June 19th, 2011 at Kings County Hospital Center Psychiatric Emergency Room, Building R, 410 Winthrop Street, Brooklyn, New York. And remember Esmond Green and that she was murdered there and that this should not ever happen again. Uh, please join us to tell Kings County that we will not move on. In solidarity, Lauren Tenney signing off.